Today I'm going to show you how to make a pie chart. So we're going to start with the basics to get you going. And then if you want to learn some more, stick around and we're going to go into some more advanced things like progress with a percentage complete inside it. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And this would be a ideal setup for a pie chart is having some metrics here with some associated numbers. And so to create that pie chart, we simply select this data uh, and I just click and drag, then insert chart. And so sometimes Google will automatically figure out what you want to do and do a pie chart here. Um, otherwise it may, for example, be on something like a line chart or something like this. And so, um, what you got to do is basically just open this. You can either double click or click on edit chart and then the side bar will pop up and then you just want to make sure you select um, the pie chart. So it might show up in the suggested. If not, just scroll down and then you can find the pie chart right here. And so that's the basics here. Um, and so you can just go off of that if that's all you want. Um, otherwise, I'm going to show you some ways to customize and modify this. So we have different aspects of a pie chart. So this would be, for example, the title. And so if you double click on that, you can edit it right from here. So you do fruit breakdown, for example. And if you double click on it, it will also go to the appropriate section on the chart editor. And so then over here, you could select if you wanted something like that, change your font, font, um, et cetera. Um, then you can go to, for example, the slices. Um, you can see that pie slice show up here. And so you could actually uh, manually set the colors here if you like. Uh, I'm going to undo just for a second because I'm going to show you a different way to do this. So another thing you can do is um, actually just change the theme and it'll change all the colors automatically. So for some people, this may be good, especially if you just want a different theme to apply across your different um, displays or charts that you're doing. And so the default is here and that's the kind of colors showing up here. So you can kind of scroll through and see the different colors here if you like, and also changes um, some of the fonts. And so if you uh, scroll down, you can see the different selections they have here. So like for example, here's one different shades of blue, um, a cozy one, for example, and so forth. And so that might be a faster way to customize your charts rather than actually manually setting each one. And then there's some other things here. For example, you can see there is a border. And so if we just double click on this, we'll pull this back up again. Um, and you'll see here we can edit the data range as needed. Um, in this case, we don't need to. Um, and then under customize, we have the different things. So we have chart style, and this is where you can set, for example, the background color. So you can make it um, transparent there, get rid of the border, and then just fades in the background. Or maybe you want to add a little color, make it stand out a little bit from the background, just like that. Um, and then you can do different things like uh, modify if you want what's called the donut hole, which is the hole in the middle. And so you can kind of parse through here, um, go to 50 or 75 and so forth. Um, so you can determine that one. Also, if you want a border, uh, if you want to add a label to each slice. So for example, here, if we do uh, label, then it's actually the name. So it's probably not what we want. We could do value. That would show the actual value. So that's a good one. Um, and we could change the color there. Maybe we want to change it to white font and so forth. I'll change the font size. Maybe that looks appropriate. Um, you can actually modify individually each slice here. And we we're here before with the color, um, but you can also just set one out if you want to highlight a specific one. And then finally, you can add um, the chart title here or subtitle as needed. And then the legend, you can determine this is called label right here. Um, so if you do auto, it'll default to kind of whatever is there. Um, you could do, for example, on the left, on the right, bottom or top, um, just like that. Depending upon how many you have, um, the different options will work appropriately. All right, so that's the very basics. Let's go ahead and look at, for example, uh, a progress chart like this. And so what I have here is actually a formula to come up with that percentage. And then I'm basically using a pie chart to kind of demonstrate that. And so what I have here is actually just two different copies. Um, I set up, up differently because um, maybe you're you're wondering how um, you can make it look like this or this. Um, and the way you do it is basically you swap these. So I'll run you through this real quick. Let's go ahead and just delete this and start from scratch. 
So what I have here is we have a complete, um, how many is complete, our total, and how many remaining. And so I just set this up with a simple formula here. Um, so basically it's whatever our total is minus our complete to determine how many remaining are. And so this is what we need for our pie chart is the complete and remaining. And so if that's what you already have set up, you don't need the total here, but this is what you want to use because this, this is going to equal our 100%. So basically a pie chart is breaking down. Um, so for example, in here, it's going to add up this 85 and make that the representation of the whole pie. And then it's going to represent 10 as whatever percentage 10 is of 85 and so forth. And so to make up uh, a percentage out of a total, we want this to equal the total. So that might have been a little more than maybe you wanted to know, but I just want to explain for those of you that do want to know um, how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this a little smaller. And in this case, we don't really need the labels and stuff like that. So we can go ahead and delete those. And then on this one, what we want to do is we want to set up the pie chart with a pie hole or a donut hole. Um, we can set either one. I think the other one we have at 50%. You can make it a little narrower if you like that view. And then basically what we'll do is we're going to set up our pie slices. And I'm going to do um, a color to kind of represent um, the remaining and the complete. So just like that. All right. So now we don't have our percentage in here yet. And so let's go ahead and figure that out. So uh, I'm not going to explain the math here, but I'm just basically going to make a percentage here. Um, and so 30%. And then if I drag this over, it's not showing. And so what we have to do is I double click on this, go to customize chart style, and I'm going to change that to none on the background color. I'm going to go ahead and change the font or the border to none as well. Because now you can see that this pops through and shows how much is complete. So you can kind of set this up however you want to um, and tweak this. And then if you want to flip it around, because as you scroll through this, for example, um, that's going to show a greater percentage. Some people like to see it like this. And so in this case, as we go through, it's actually cycling through that way. So depending on which way you want to do, all you got to do is switch these two and put the complete on top and the remaining on the bottom, or in this case, the remaining on the top and complete on the bottom. Everything else is set up the exact same way. All right, so that's a quick breakdown of how to add and do some quick modifications on a pie chart. Make sure to check out our other videos and hit subscribe so you'll get notified when we drop a new video. Thanks, guys. See you again soon.